athletes have died on the first day of August due to heat. That's more than any other day of the year. Heat killed an Ohio football star. His death is what started the protection of millions of athletes nationwide. Change began on August 1st, 2001. It's weird. I don't remember what I wore to work yesterday, but I pretty much know all the details of that, that particular day. Corey Stringer, a Minnesota Vikings first round draft pick, an Ohio State All-American and an Ohio Preps All-American, collapsed during training camp. He was um, kneeling like in a fetal position, groaning, struggling. By the time he was rushed to the hospital more than an hour and a half later, his core temperature was 109 degrees. Within hours, the league lost a pro bowler. Corey Stringer died from injuries playing the sport he loved. And we know Corey Stringer, number 77, is going to be missed. Running through the tunnel on game day, having his number called. After the game, seeing his wife and son in the lounge. His death from heat stroke prompted change. So that, I think, set in motion a lot of particular things. The widow and the agent filed a lawsuit against the NFL. In 2007, they settled with an agreement to create an institute that works to protect athletes. Recognize that today uh, is a very special day because we're announcing the Corey Stringer Institute of the University of Connecticut. The institute was created to prevent sudden death in sports. KSI develops policies and education for the safety of those athletes and helps athletic departments be proactive rather than reactive. The Institute's work is now the health care standard for athletic trainers. The hope is for solutions, not settlements. Each year there's some young athlete who passes out or ultimately dies due to some sort of heat related illness in football or track or what have you in the summer. And every year someone calls me or they, they send me pictures and they ask me, you know, well, did you see this player that died or this player that passed out? And, and for many years I just often thought, well, why are they telling me? You know, I, I mean, of course I get it, you know. And one day I was standing in my closet and I said to myself, well, someone has to do something. And before I could finish the word something, I realized that the somebody that needed to do something was me. The Corey Stringer Institute is led by this man, Doug Casa a world-renowned heat expert. He has studied heat stroke since he collapsed during a high school race. My passion for heat stroke certainly stems from my experience. It's almost 35 years ago now. Um, everything that I've done since then, my schooling, uh, my clinical care, and then the research I've conducted. Heat stroke is dangerous, but survivable. CASA travels the world to share KSI's work on everything from heat acclimation policies to cold tub immersion. My wife, whenever I come home from these trips, my wife's like, you have to convince people to like to keep high school athletes safer. Like these are things to keep people alive. She's like she doesn't think that it should have to be a difficult process. But it is. In the last decade, Corey Stringer's legacy became protecting others. We have to recognize that we have failed, and that uh, we have to do better. Not do better. We have to solve the problem. Corey Stringer was 27. Since Corey's death in 2001, an athlete has died from heat stroke 17 of the last 19 years. The Institute hopes its work will change that for the next 19 years. You can learn more about Corey Stringer's impact. Just head to athletesatrisk.com and then tomorrow.